Recently, both Meta and Apple announced their upcoming mixed reality headsets, Meta Quest 3 and Apple Vision Pro. In this video, we are going to compare two headsets on paper, since they are both unavailable now. Let's start with the display. Both the Quest 3 and the Vision Pro will use the pancake lenses. In terms of resolution, the Quest 2 is 1832 by 1920 per eye, and we can expect a slightly higher resolution on the Quest 3. Regarding the Vision Pro, Apple didn't reveal the full spec of the display. All we know is that it used two micro OLED panels and 23 million pixels in total. This means each eye will have more pixels than a 4K TV. That's crazy. Meta didn't officially announce what chip inside the Quest 3, but we do know it's a Snapdragon chip and likely to be named Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 or XR3. It has double GPU performance than Quest 2. This gives us some clues what chip they use in the Quest 3. The chip in Quest 2 is Snapdragon XR2, which is a modified version based on the Snapdragon A65, a mobile chip that is mostly used on smartphones and tablets. If we take a look at the recent Snapdragon mobile chips, we will find out that there are two options, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Personally, I believe 8 Plus Gen 1 has higher possibility for two main reasons. The first reason is performance. At stock frequency, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is about 2.5 times faster than A65 in benchmark. If Meta lowers the GPU frequency for better battery life like they did on Quest 2, it will be slightly above 2 times faster than Quest 2 as they advertise. The second reason is price. Reports suggest that the Snapdragon Agent 2 would cost $160, which is unacceptable for a 499 device. The Snapdragon Agent 2 has more than 3 times the GPU performance of A65. If Meta could advertise triple the performance, it raised the question of why they only mentioned double the performance. Regarding the Vision Pro, Apple announced that a Vision Pro will use two chips both from Apple Silicon. The first one is the M2, which we are already familiar with on the MacBook. The second chip is called R1, and is specifically designed to process all the sensor's data to reduce latency. In benchmark comparison, I choose Geekbench 6 for the CPU and the 3 Mark Wildlife Extreme for GPU. Since they are available on both Android and the Mac OS platforms, we can compare the benchmark scores. Based on the score, we can tell the Quest 3 will have about 32.8% improvement in CPU multi-thread performance and up to 155 improvements in GPU performance. This is pretty decent as a new generation upgrade until the Vision Pro slides in. The M2 outperformed both CPU and the GPU than Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 by over 100%, which isn't surprising Consider M2 is a MacBook tier chip and it consumes more power than the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Both Apple and Meta did not reveal the weight. I suspect the Quest 3 will have a weight similar to or slightly heavier than the Quest 2. In previous rumor, the Vision Pro is lighter than the Quest 2 due to its external battery design. However, considering Apple is using aluminum chassis for the Vision Pro, I believe that it won't be much lighter than the Quest 3, sitting at somewhere near 400 grams. Like its predecessor and most other headsets, the Quest 3 will use controllers for most interactions. Instead of the tracking ring on previous generation, the new controller has IRLED on top for tracking. The controller-free hand tracking gets improvements as well. The Vision Pro features a controller-free interaction system. It allows users to select apps by simply looking at the icon and launch by pinching thumbs and index finger. Browsing and zooming can be done by gesture as well. But if you want to gaming on Vision Pro, you still need to connect a controller. Both the Quest 3 and the Vision Pro will support color pass-through. The Quest 3 will have better pass-through than the Quest Pro because it has better cameras, sensors, and performance. You can do something simple without taking off the headset. But overall speaking, you can't compete with the Vision Pro. The pass-through on the Vision Pro is going to be next level. The image quality of pass-through is lifelike. Also, the color looks identical with what you see on the human eyes. 
The dedicated R1 chip can significantly reduce the latency of pass-through. According to Apple, the latency is less than 12 milliseconds. This number has reached the limit of 90 Hz display, means all the data from cameras and sensors are processed less than one frame. For contents, Meta announced over 20 game titles during gaming showcase, and the Quest 3 will be able to assess the game library of previous generations, which has over 500 games. It also reserves the Quest Link and Air Link, means you have access to other big titles on PC. As a first-generation product, the contents available on the Vision Pro are limited. During the demo, Apple heavily advertised on movie watching, which makes sense considering one of the biggest advantages of the Vision Pro is the display. They also cooperate with companies like Disney and Unity to bring more contents on the Vision Pro. Games developed by Unity can be ported into the Vision Pro easier than before. We can tell Apple is working hard on the contents, but it takes time. Despite the Vision Pro demo looks very promising, the $34.99 price tag easily bring me back to the reality. Another thing that Apple didn't mention is the storage. $34.99 is just the starting price. If the Vision Pro starting at 256 gigs like the MacBook, adding extra 256 gig storage will cost extra $200, which is more than enough for a 2TB SSD on shelf. If you are wearing glasses like me, you will need another few hundred dollars for prescription lens. By comparison, the Quest 3 starting at 499 US dollars with 428 gig storage. For 499, you can get hardware similar to a mid-range smartphone plus two controller. Overall speaking, the Vision Pro is going to be the best headset for a while. It shows us how good a headset can be, as well as the great potential of the VR industry. Just like the first generation of iPhone eliminated physical keyboard on smartphone, the support of eye tracking and finger pinch interaction system may soon become the standard of VR headsets. Meanwhile, the Quest 3 also brings us a solid upgrade from Quest 2. Even though the launch price is higher than the Quest 2, it's still much more affordable than the Vision Pro. There are some experts I didn't mention in the video, such as spatial photo capture, video recording, because these are more like the unique features of the Vision Pro. The Vision Pro is impressive, as well as the price. Whether you are average consumer of VR headset or early adopter, the suggestion between two headsets is only do what you can. That's all about this video. Thanks for your watching. You can leave a comment below tell us your thought about the Quest 3 and the Vision Pro. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.